Well, since 1939, the debt ceiling has been raised 98 times. So why is it any different this time? Well, it's because of the blowout spending that the Democrats are proposing and doing it without a single Republican vote. Traditionally, when you have to raise a debt ceiling, you have a bipartisan discussion and ways to get spending under control. With a 50-50 Senate and such a close margin in the House, that's exactly what ought to be happening right now. Instead, the Democrats are moving forward with an incredible spending bill based on Bernie Sanders' socialist budget, and Republicans will not be a rubber stamp for this. This administration just a couple of months ago passed a $1.9 trillion so-called COVID relief bill, had very little to do with health care, and was put onto the debt. Now they're proposing over twice that amount of spending, again, solely on party lines. During the pandemic, we have passed five bipartisan relief bills done in a way to move the country forward in a bipartisan way. We have a large debt in this country. The interest alone on the debt is about $400 billion a year. My concerns are this is going to undermine, in the long run, Social Security and Medicare. Democrats want to pay for all of this by raising taxes on your income, on your retirement savings, and even on your death. Everyone will end up paying more. If the Democrats want to go it alone on the spending, they're going to have to go it alone on raising the debt ceiling.